Welcome back, brothers and sisters, as we continue our journey through the book of John. And today we are in John chapter 3, verse 31, which I have titled, The Able Revealer. Let me read from the verse. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. He who comes from heaven is above all. If we remember that some of John's followers had complained that people were leaving him to follow Jesus, they did not realize that this was the very thing that John most wanted. It was the purpose of his ministry to see people go to Jesus in faith. John was divinely ordained minister and a true prophet of the Lord. However, Jesus is uniquely exalted even above a prophet such as John the Baptist. As John explains in this verse, He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in earthly ways. He who comes from heaven is above all. John asserts that Jesus possesses a personal authority that is greater than that of anyone else. Unlike everyone else who th taught about God, Jesus came into this world from heaven. He who comes from heaven is above all. This alludes to Jesus' identity as the very Son of God. One of the most important truths that the Gospel of John was written to reveal. The opening verse of this Gospel informs us that Jesus is one with God and is therefore the true revelation of God. In John chapter 1 verse 1, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. John sums up the significance of Jesus' coming in verse 14. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. Because of who He is, Jesus possesses an authority that no one else has. This was something that people were about to experience as Jesus began his ministry. It was around this time that Jesus preached his first Sermon on the Mount, after which Matthew tells us in Matthew chapter 7 verse 28 to 29, Crowds were astonished at his teachings, for he was teaching them as one who had authority. Jesus was not like the scholars of his time and most other times, who mainly recited the opinions of others. Instead, he revealed the truth that he knew and had the authority to proclaim as one sent from heaven to earth for that purpose. Jesus speaks of things he knows firsthand, as in John chapter 3 verse 32. He bears witness to what he has seen and heard. When we read Jesus' teachings in the Bible, we are not dealing with mere speculation. This is what everyone else has to do apart from the direct inspiration from God. Nevertheless, Jesus alone, even among the true prophets, is an eyewitness of God and heaven. If you want to know about the army, it is best to talk to someone who had served in the ranks. If you want to know about a family, the best source is a family member. Likewise, if you want information about God, we will get it only from the Son of God. And if we want information about heaven and heaven's life, we will only get it 
from him who comes from heaven because Jesus alone knows God he alone can give us the facts about God and these facts are the gospel truth this is why there is no better source of truth about God and salvation than Jesus Christ who came into this world from heaven to reveal such truth to mankind this answers the common objection to the Christian faith some say what makes Jesus so different on all religious leaders based on the same Jesus Buddha Muhammad or some other guru the answer is no Jesus Christ alone is the very son of God who came into this world with first hand truth from heaven no other religion even claims to have such a leader but the new testament ex- explicitly teaches that Jesus is the son of God who came from heaven with the ultimate and absolute truth not only is Jesus a different kind of spiritual leader but he also brings a different message people ask don't all religions say basically the same thing the common opinion is that they do but only because people have not seriously faced the message of Jesus Christ this was John's point in saying he who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way this is why despite their distinctions every religion be it islam buddhism judaism or roman catholicism teaches that we come to god at least in part by being good you'll find this in the writings of muhammad and confucius and the popes and the rabbis we must somehow merit entry into heaven however jesus and his apostles teach something entirely different nicodemus thought he was good but jesus told him you must be born again in john chapter 3 verse 7 The only way for anyone to be saved Jesus revealed was for the son of man to be lifted up in John 3 verse 14 by which he entered to his own death on the cross Jesus alone teaches that God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life in John chapter 3 verse 16 Jesus thought that salvation is through faith and not by works This is not the kind of thing that men imagine It is not of the earth but heaven This produces an absolute antithesis between Christianity and every other religion If Jesus is whom he says he is then his message is the only true one and must be accepted to be exclusion of other If Jesus is not whom he says he is then he is a monstrous fraud who must be utterly rejected A Christian therefore is one who has seen the truth of Jesus in God's word and accepts him to the exclusion of every other savior and lord. And John reminds us that we must begin as those who are of the earth and therefore earthly in our thinking. When we start studying the Bible, you'll find it contradicting many things you may have always assumed. Since Jesus is the one person who can reveal the truth from heaven, we should hunger for his truth to escape the errors we have been trained so willingly to disciple ourselves eagerly to advance from earthly to heavenly thinking, which is only found through Christ's word. 
thank you and God bless.